Hey, this is Gerald and Aubrey from Bass Kicking Adventures. We are going to show you a boat today that we like to fish out of. It can be a two person or one person. Uh, most people use them for duck hunting, but we use it for fishing. And it is a Beaver Tail Stealth 2000. And on this particular boat, as you can see, I took the factory seats off and I added some nice comfortable padded seats. Uh, on the front here, I added some carpet for the dogs to sit. And I don't know how familiar you are with these boats, but up underneath the seats, you have a lot of storage. You also have trays for tackle or bullets, whatever you're going to be using it for. Drink holder. These right here on the sides are really made for holding your gun, but they could also serve the same purpose for holding your rod and reels. Uh, I added this floorboard right here to it because as you can see, without that, it has a ribbed floor and it's just a little bit more comfortable with the padded carpeted floorboard that I made. Uh, it's got nice carrying handles on the boat, very solid drain plug. It's got little carrying handles on the sides, got two on each side, huge compartments on both sides of the back seat with two drink holders, a lot of bungee cord tie downs. This back seat also has a lot of storage room. That's a good place to put your battery. Aubrey, you wanna open up that back compartment there? Yeah. Huge storage back here. Put all kinds of stuff back here. Another solid handle on the back to carry the boat. Come around the other side, you see the other two handles. This boat is rated for 450 pounds, uh, but I know for a fact that I've had more than that in it. Uh, super stable boat. Uh, two people can stand up and fish in it. No problem. Uh, I've been out with two people and two dogs in it. Grab the uh, dog ramp over there. Uh, I've got mine with the aftermarket accessories, the trolling motor mount, and when this goes on, it's not coming off. This thing is solid and it just hooks on underneath and you just tighten it down right here. Excuse me. Excuse me again. All right, and Aubrey has the, Aubrey has the dog ramp, which is a very cool feature. And I can't really do it right now because I have the, boat locked up on this trailer but you can see these two hooks they just fit right over the front handle and this dog ramp will just sit in the water like that right there and if your dog wants to go swimming or if your dog is going to retrieve a duck or whatever the case may be he can swim back to that ramp and climb right back up on the boat very cool feature so if you're not familiar with a beaver tail, if you like kayak fishing, but you don't like the, the way kayaks are, you feel like you're gonna flip over in a kayak, you definitely will not have that problem with this. And, hold this camera right here on this seat, Aubrey.
and it's just demonstrated the front seat can be completely taken out of the boat. Um, the front seat can also be moved. What I was going to do was take the back seat off and just use this back storage compartment as an ice chest or a battery box and just have the one seat. Hold the phone again. So then I was just gonna have the one seat right there. So the back seat wouldn't be there. And all you'd have to do is reach over to get inside your ice box or your battery box or whatever you want to put in it. Um, and then if you put your seat there, you have all this room right here. You can even stand on this upper deck and this boat will not flip. You can stand on the sides right here. This boat will not flip over. You would really have to do something stupid to flip this boat over. So anyway, I think it's a very unique boat and I didn't know, maybe some of you guys weren't familiar with it. Um, I actually am selling this boat. Uh, they're kind of hard to come about right now, but I'm just not using it much. I've got a little center console that I use more than this. But if you have any uh, questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you are interested in a beaver tail, I can highly recommend it. It's a great boat. And I think it will hold up to a four horsepower motor, if I remember correctly. Um, actually, it may be on the front sticker there. Does that say anything about a horsepower? Okay, so the official U.S. Coast Guard says two horsepower. Um, the last time I took it out, I had a 55-pound thrust trolling motor on it, and I've used it with a 30-pound thrust trolling motor. 30-pound thrust pushed it just fine, and I was in a place where it had a little bit of a current then also. Uh, so... As you can see underneath the boat, that's where your stability comes from. And I haul it just on a, just a regular jet ski trailer. It absolutely fits it perfect. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you would, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. If you have any questions, just contact us. Thank you, bye.